back to Cinturone's Corner and today we are upgrading Anakin Skywalker from the new Target Clone Wars and this is episode 2 of this week and then tomorrow should be another episode and then following suit after that as well. So yeah, Anakin Skywalker, fantastic figure, it looks brilliant, it's, you know, articulation, everything is there. Unfortunately part of the paint apps has kind of sort of subsided on him and he really needs coming up to date. So. The armour here definitely needs sort of like a gun metal or something like that really to bring it up into like a more sort of metallic kind of look and a bit more sort of Darth Vader-esque uh, to bring it in line with the actual Clone Wars as well. The belt is missing loads of paint applications, it's literally just brown with some golds. So we top up the golds on here, add the silver rivets and the other silver parts and the black clip and all that as well. And probably lighten up these pouches on here just to give it a bit of dem uh, definition in there. The glove as well needs a little bit of tension. This side needs a bit of attention as well and maybe not all over, maybe on the boots and the gloves, maybe a bit of a black wash. I don't really want to apply it to this but I might do it around on the midsection here just so it has a little bit more definition in there as well. So I guess without further ado, let's just crack on with it. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is grab all your paints, make sure they're all to your side, otherwise it's so annoying when you're trying to find some paint and you're knocking things around everywhere. We're going to start with LP19 and it's just simply that really nice gun metal and we're going to pull it onto his armour. So with the insignia, just be very, very careful. Just make sure you've got a very fine paintbrush uh, with a really small tip and then just going around and trace around the outside of it. Don't keep brushing up to it. Just be very careful and take your time. Okay, so now we're going to really start putting some detail in. So we're going to use the chrome silver and go around and doing all those little studs on his belt. He's got like little two little studs that hold the inner belt in as well. So get your reference pictures for that. And the other one, XF64 Red Brown, we're going to go around and paint the back pouches on his belt and also on his glove. Just make sure you put a little bit of water in with that paint just to sort of soften it up so it's not going to be as glossy and it's got a nice matte sort of suede finish to it.
So picking up the black, we're just going to put some details in here. So he's got the little lightsaber clip on his belt. That should be black. And also, if you look at this reference picture, underneath his glove has a line of black there. So we're just applying that to the bottom of his glove. So using that chrome silver as well on the clips on his robot hand just to bring out that detail rather than just standard black. So the Jedi carry around these little capsules, I think they're like food or supplies and stuff. Sometimes they're copper, silver and gold, but Anakin actually just carries all gold. So it's quite an easy one to do by using the gold leaf paint. So it's down to the Old Faithful Black Wash, I'm just applying it to the boots quite heavily because there's a lot of detail in there, so just wipe it away with the sponge and you can get that detail to come up and if you just leave enough black on there it actually looks quite leathery. Using the black wash as well over the blue robes not too much over the metal uh, kind of armour part there but back over the gloves and stuff. I didn't actually go over the under tunic on the maroon So coming to the end of our journey now, all you need to get is one of those makeup brush kind of sponges that people use to put eyeshadow on, etc. And it just applies really nicely. We used this on Echo yesterday, so it just leaves a nice little speckled look over the top of the armor. Don't apply too much, just enough, just so it gives a little bit of sort of like shading and a little bit of chippage there on his armor. weathered and ready to join the other clones and other Jedi on the shelf and now this has actually become my favorite Anakin figure which isn't hard to be honest because the other two are pretty much 
pretty bollocks in my opinion. But, so using this guy, we've actually only used a couple of paints. We haven't used a mounting effects of lot we used on Echo, but just seeing that the paint details here add so much more to the character. So starting from the top here, we used the Chrome Silver X11, and that's simply for all the clips and clasps and the other little bits around and the weathering on the top of his shield part up here. We used the Gunmetal LP19, and that's simply for, again, a couple of the clasps down here, but mainly for the actual arm on the top. Red Brown, which is a nice brown to be honest, XF64. We used that on the glove and his pouches on the back of his belt. We used the red gold or gold leaf, shall I say, X12. And that was for the capsules and stuff hanging off his belt. And then obviously finishing it off with just a flat black, which is my black wash. So it's water and the black paint in there. But taking a closer look at the figure, it just looks a lot better. I used the sideshow kind of things as reference and some of the Clone Wars uh, imagery as well, just to get a little bit more kind of definition on the Anakin figure as well. But taking a closer look at the armor, you can see that extra weathering on there. The gun metal really brings off that sort of scruffiness and the chips as well. Uh, it looks really nice. On the side, just be careful as you go over that kind of uh, Jedi insignia there. Uh, just go around it as slow as possible, not to go over all over the paint on there. The black wash I've added to the tunic, which I wasn't really going to do at first, but it really takes away that wishy-washy blue that it is at the beginning and actually brings out a lot of the detail as well. But where the actual figure now really pops is actually from this waist down. So adding all those extra details on the belt, just the golds, the silvers and the blacks, just makes it really characteristic in a way. Uh, and you've got all the pouches on the bits and all these parts are painted as well. On the glove, on this side, we've actually added the black line there that breaks up the uh, kind of glove part here. Because he's, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it has a black line up there. So I thought I'd just add it on there. And then on this side, we've added all the silver clips as well, just to bring more, even more definition to the figure. On this side, we've added the brown. Uh, looking at the reference pictures, the actual glove is brown as well. But to me, it kind of would be a bit of like, um, I don't know, a Stormtrooper glove or something like that. I mean, because these guys have sort of issued it. So I kind of kept it black. Going down, just done a, a black wash on his boots just to really bring in that leather effect as well. And um, yeah, making it look really nice. So now he seems to be a premium 25 pound figure. And um, he's definitely one of my favorite figures at the top there because that articulation of this figure is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell and send a like this way as well because we have still got another two more episodes coming this way of the Clone Wars and also I've got some customers as well coming at the end of the week. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.